Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your bonus tarot card reading focused on what you don't see coming. And this is going to apply from 14th of July 2021 to August 14th 2021. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you'd like to learn how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. And if you want a personal tarot card reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. So I'm going to be looking at the positive energies as well as what are you releasing, what's coming in, what do you need to embrace, and messages from the spirits, which are going to be done via oracle cards towards the end of this reading. Make sure to watch your moon and your rising. So I hope you guys are excited. Let's begin your tarot card reading, Capricorn. What are the positive energies coming towards you? What are the positive energies coming towards you? Right. I'm seeing a very heavy indication here that you are going to be in a position where there's going to be a lucrative opportunity for you. And I feel like this lucrative opportunity is going to come down to you being incredibly smart, right? Now, I'm sensing here yeah, there's an energy which is indicating that some of you are going to be in a position where you're going to have the ability to decide your own fate. So the power is going to be in your hands. And I feel like when it comes to your happiness, when it comes to career, your love life, things of that nature, you're going to be wielding a lot of power. This power is going to come from, you know, your ability to be discerning during this time, to know what you want and what you don't want, right? So the positive energies are indicating to me that the ball is going to be in your court, literally. So I feel like these energies are indicating that uh, you will have the ability to decide whether or not you want to take any opportunities. It's not like you're going to be begging for opportunities or be desperate for opportunities. The opportunities are going to be there right on your lap and you're going to be able to decide whether or not you want to play with it or not. So I feel like these are the energies which are pointing you in that direction. And Spirit is saying that this is a good time for you to exercise your sense of free will as well as to decide whether or not you're going to entertain some options versus others, right? So what are you releasing? Okay, some of you are releasing a situation and it feels like the type of energy that isn't based on something that is authentic or real. It doesn't feel like it's linked to any specific person or situation. It feels as if you're not looking for fleeting sort of experiences. You're looking for deeply emotional experiences and you're not settling for one night stands. You're not settling for relationships that are, you know, fly by night kind of situations that they don't last for a long time. I feel like you're very keen on having a deeply emotional experience and you're not keen on entertaining things that rouse up your passions and then, you know, within a week or two, you're bored, right? So I feel like there's this energy of you becoming very serious about what you want and being very, very determined to get what you want. I also feel like there's an energy of which you're not playing anymore. You're becoming very serious about what it is that you hope to achieve which I feel like you can because there's going to be so many options and, um, you know, possibilities available to you. So let's see. What is coming in for you, Capricorn? You know, I'm also picking up an energy of which many of you are not going to be entertaining friendships or people in your life that have very little substance you know, this flaky type of individuals. You're looking for something or someone that has character, someone that has personality. You know, that type of energy is very pronounced here. Yeah. What is coming in? 
Oh, okay. So there's an opportunity for you to have a very serious type of a connection with a person. There's an opportunity for you to have a connection that is rooted in destiny, rooted in happiness, rooted in things going your way, right? So I feel like Spirit is indicating that there can be a lot of stability. There can be a connection that is very traditional based, a connection that is authentic and real, where someone values the idea of having a person that is faithful, a person that is honest, you know, something that is prim and proper according to what you want as well as what the other person wants. So I feel like there's a very positive indication of you having that or getting very close towards that objective, right, during this period of time. Some of you, you know, if you are really interested, some of you could find yourself in a position where your relationship with your person gets very serious. And this reading is not exploring your love life. But I feel like for those of you that are already married or already in a relationship, your connection could become more romantic, more loving, more caring, more traditional, you know, in the sense of you taking care of your person and your person taking care of you. So I feel like there's a lot of that that is um, playing a role here. But I'm also picking up an energy of which you're not entertaining people that can't offer you a relationship based on substance you want something more right and i feel like there's a possibility of you having that and acquiring that sort of uh, desire in this period of time so let's see what do you need to embrace what does capricorn need to embrace I do feel like for some of you, romance is emphasized here, but I'm also picking up romance with a twist that comes with a lot of, um, you know, grounded energy, that sort of thing, the type of traditional approach. If you're looking for a man or a woman, particularly a man, if they are very chivalrous, then you will notice that this person stands out from the crowd. You know, they may open the door for you. They may go above and beyond to ensure that you are safe, you're comfortable, etc. And if you're looking for a traditional type of female, this is definitely a time to keep your eyes open. Some of you may have already met a person and you could see that your relationship is stabilizing with this individual during that period of time. So let's see, what do you need to embrace? Spread is indicating that if you're dealing with any sort of conflict or difficulty regarding sorrow, whatever it is, you know, take your time to really reflect upon that. Take your time to really try to understand, well, why did that happen? Why did that person say that? And then have a sense of acceptance. Have a sense of knowing that maybe certain things had to be said. Maybe certain things had to be done. Maybe you had to learn about their character in a certain way. Maybe you had to go through that journey in order to become a stronger and better person. You know, foresight, it's going to be such a powerful thing for you in that period of time. So I'm sensing, yeah, pain and sadness, sorrow and being vulnerable in certain instances of your life are not there to weaken you. They are there to strengthen you. And I feel like you have so much of a phenomenal potential to explore that during this period of time, especially because it's going to be opening up your eyes and making you see parts of your character that you haven't yet exposed. So I feel like Spirit is telling you that you're much stronger than you think. It's also telling you that um, reflection is a powerful thing for you to do during this period of time because it's going to help you gain a lot of insight in aspects that have been, you know, lying in the dark for a long time. So let's see, let's get some messages from Spirit. I'm going to use the Oracle cards as well. So there's something or someone that's going to show up and bring a lot of happiness into your life. A lot of celebrations, a lot of joy. This could be a new love. This could be literally anything. But it feels like if it's not new love, it's a new opportunity and it brings a lot of happiness and joy into your life. You feel like you can build upon it. And so Spirit is emphasizing that. So be aware of that. Be open to it. Be accepting of the possibilities that are entering your life during this period of time. So no place like home. Home has definitely 
being emphasized in this particular situation. And I feel like it's very interesting because this card is indicating that you're looking for something that feels like home. You're looking for someone that feels like home. You're not willing to settle for, you know, staying at these kind of places that just don't feel good for you. You know, it could be motels. It could be at a certain person's house. It could be anything, literally. But I feel like Spirit is telling you that you're moving towards peace. And that is something that is incredibly powerful. I also feel as if higher power is leading you towards that sense of peace. I'm going to take a few cards from the bottom of the deck. I feel like these energies are, you know, very crucial during this time. You have peace, you have higher power, you have poised, you have milk and honey. You've been waiting for this for a long time. And milk and honey is represented, you know, by all the good things that life has to offer you. It feels as if higher power or higher power has been preparing you for all the good things that life has to offer, as well as uh, applying to your love life, your career, things of that nature. So be accepting of that. You can reflect upon some of the difficulties or the struggles you've been through, but they don't have to define you because I feel like, you know, there's something magical happening. For some of you, you could meet the love of your life or you could strengthen your connection with your person very much during this period of time. And you won't really be aware that that can happen, but, you know, it is there. It is present. The card that I have for you is a card that came out for Sagittarius as well. It's Archangel Michael. Use the Sword of Truth to help the world. I'm going to take another card, Divine Sight. See the divine in everyone. So I feel like divine sight is more in keeping with your reading. But of course, if Archangel Michael wanted to come out, there's probably a reason for that. Okay. So these energies are giving me an indication of the fact that because, you know, you're going to look from the eyes of seeing the divine in everyone, you're going to be able to see that even if a person is incredibly flawed, they're also beautiful. And that applies to yourself as well. It applies to everything in this world. Even if someone is incredibly flawed, if they've made mistakes, if they've done things in this world, there's always a room for forgiveness, you know. So I feel like you can't really judge a person by a certain event or experience that they've had in this world or certain things that they've decided to do. Because at that moment of time, they might have believed it to be right or may have felt as if that was the only thing they could do under those circumstances. Forgiveness is key here. And I feel like as you gain a sense of forgiveness towards people and situations in this world, you're going to have more of an understanding of yourself as you open up that door to new love or the strengthening of a connection that you already have with an individual. So a lot of acceptance, a lot of peace, a lot of joy, as well as finding, you know, your sense of inner happiness in this world. I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. I hope it has provided you with peace of mind and clarity. You know, if you'd like a personal tarot card reading, you can get it at thetarotempress.com. If you'd like to learn how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.